How you doing, YouTubers? It's Galen. Um, sorry for uh, kind of missing like a week and a half of um, uploading. I've been kind of busy, stressing out. Um, my my um, frame had cracked, um, and some other stuff. You know, we we found some issues with. As you see in the back, these are my front leaf springs, and then I had to go buy pretty much everything to put those on. Um, I actually had to rebush them. I actually had to rebush them. So that's a brand new bush, bushing to it. I had to go get uh, my torque rods rebushed also. And the crazy thing about it is, I got those rebushed less than about a year ago. Um, and I had to rebush them again, but it wasn't supposed to do that. So I went to somebody that was more, um, give me better quality uh, bushing. So I won't have to be there again in another year. I, um, so in labor alone, uh, my truck was broke down. Um, you see the video of it getting told and everything. With, how can I say, with um, labor, just alone looking at about 2,000. Um, and in parts, you know, the bushings on my torque rods were 500, it was 500 bucks. And then the rebushing of that and everything that I had to go get a new front hanger. I had to get everything that goes with the hanger because it was just, it was just shredded, you know. Um, with everything, I just, I just literally yesterday, um, March 23rd, I, I paid another $1,106. And I know some people don't want to tell you pricing and stuff, but I'm going to tell you how it is. I just dropped 1600 bucks on just the suspension alone, you know, just to get it rebushed and get the parts needed for that. So if you think that you're going to own a truck and make all this money and not have to put some of, invest some of it back into the truck, you're wrong. Um, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Um, they double frame my truck. I had a crack in this. Uh, I had a crack in the in the frame, and that put me down. Um, I thought it was one thing, and it was another, and it was just a nightmare. Um, it's not fun. It's not fun. Your truck. My truck's been down for two two weeks, but I've been Ubering and lifting. All right. I'm not. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I got money in the bank. Yes. I I got money in the bank that can last me. My bills are up to date, but I'm never too good to make money. Lyft sent me an email and said, hey, pick up 60 people. We'll give you a $700 bonus. This was last week when I got it, in the middle of last week. I said, okay, I'm about to pick up 60 people and get 700 bucks. My truck is down. Why not? So don't think because you are owner of a company, you can't do side hustles or make side money. All right. I just had a customer call me today. Hey, when, is your truck going to be ready Monday? Sure is. All right, hey, I need you to clear out this lot for me. All right, $100 a load. Okay, see you Monday. All right, but don't allow, don't, if your truck is down, don't just sit at home like, oh, I'm not going to make no money. No, call a carrier. Hey, look, can I do some casual work? Can I do two weeks out? Can I do a week out? Can I do some, you know, local work? Can I find a local job? Can you do some Ubering? Can you do some lifting? Do some something, man. Make some money, you know? Now, if you got all that money in the bank account, you know, and you like, hey, I can sit down for two weeks. Go ahead. But you, you just don't want to keep not having, you never want to not have income come in, all right? So... I just wanted to make this video real quick before I jump on the highway and start rolling. But I'm sorry that I've been out. It's just, hey, it's part of the industry, man. It's something that that it happens, you know. But my truck will be up and running. Um, like I said, where it cracked at, we double framed it. We fixed it. We, well, I mean, we put a nice second frame in with it. You know, they fixed it, everything. You know, we checked to make sure everything's straight. Everything's straight. Only thing now is just put everything back on. I got a new fuel tank because there was no need for me to have two 140 gallon tanks. I took those off myself. I literally put on some coveralls and got on there, got dirty, and did it because my um my tech, his guy was out of town. So you gotta do what you gotta do, man, to get that truck going. All right. So if you gotta get under there and get dirty, do what you gotta do. Um outside of that, man, any questions, let me know. I'll be back on the road Monday morning. I'll be back. That dump truck will be back making money. 
Hopefully we can go at least another four or five months this time without anything major happening to break me down. Because these 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 contractors, they understand that stuff happens. Hey, your truck is down a week or two, okay. But if it's down a week or two now, and then in two more weeks, it's down for another two weeks, and then two, they're gonna be like, hey, there's no need to use you. So stay in communication, I have. Um, make sure you get your parts. Make sure you, you get your mechanic on board. Make sure you stay on top of them, all right? Um, subscribe, question. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try and continue to make videos. I know it's been about a week and a half. It's just been a tad bit stressful. Here it is, March 24th. I hope y'all bring y'all spring in nice. Set y'all clocks. Um, and out there making that money, all right? Talk to you later.